Okay, so chapter 11 is basically the continuation of chapter 10. It's the Nimshal. Right. So according to everything we said before, that there's is and there isn't, and there's three Madragas, which is the etzim of the light itself, and then how it is ready for its pastures, and how it's ready for its pastures in the actual in the actual prat on the outside already. So now Nimshul Mikola now beds the Muvan La Maskal and Mala Basma so and so if not Tim Shiniko Yochid, the Kawagam Shah Mass Firo. So that over there it's also includes in the ten spheres. The Nikra S spheres are glu agnuzas behelam asmas mamish. You notice that he makes a uh, 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 a whole long definition. It's not just Esospheros Agnusas, because Esospheros Agnusas in Ak is also called Esospheros Agnusas. Right. This is Esospheros Agnusas Behelam HaAtmus Mamish. And also from what the way that Drashab describes it, it seems like it's in Kadmon. The Rashab is talking about Kadmon. He's not talking about right. Yochit. That's what I'm saying. The Rashab is talking not even about Kadmon, actually, because... Really, Kadmon is not an actual pastus. It's just a possible pastus. Right. The Shab is talking about the pastus on its side. Right, so it's a whole... Here he says that these Gimel Madragas are in the Atmos on its side, including right. Kadmon. Right. Including Kadmon. <coughs> right. What the Rashab is talking about is after the Glyph Glyph of Kadmon. It's Malchus of Malchus of Kadmon. Uh -huh. if, you want to, if you want to put a name on it, it's not even Malchus of Kadmon, it's Malchus of Malchus of Kadmon. Right. What he's talking about in Iron Base is the Pastor's Iron Safe. Right. And this is basically, remember, we were talking about. What Hillel Parachu said? Right. He said there's two levels in the light and there's two levels in the Atmos. Right. In the Atmos there's Hu and there's a Bilvad. And in the light there's the Etzim or in Saif and it passes or in Saif. Right. This whole thing here, including Kadmon, it's the Etzim or. Is in the Etzim or in Saif. means that in the Etzim or in Saif it's Muchon. It's not mitpashit yet. It's only muhan for its pashtus. Right. It's meshua for its pashtus. Right. Whereas what the Rebbe Hashab talks about over there is a whole different thing, really, which what he has a hundred chapters over there is over here, not even a, a, a nakuda. It's between the lines. Right. It's not even like one word over here. Right. It's it's after it's you figure it after the whole thing that it's muhan to mit mit pashit by the end of Kadmon or where it's mamish like he said it's mamish muhan to be mit pashit but he said it didn't actually mit pashit yet because right. of the mania <coughs> right it's it, it, it's not actually it's, it's like it says like like moit pashtus achayis lachis the group shamuhan lots it it didn't it's not that pashtus yet right. And over there he's talking about something that over here is just, you know, that <clears throat> that's the whole thing, that, that the shita, the shita of the mashpiyim that are saying that that's the key to Hasidus. That's like just, you know, that's like a, a, a very advanced book that what over here is not even, an, not even an akuda is over there a hundred chapters. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And it's very easy to confuse the two if you don't know what he's, uh, what it's actually talking about. Right. So, I mean, if there's a hundred chapters, imagine how what chapter ten is going to be. Right. Chapter ten by the Rebbe Rashab will be a thousand chapters. Right. And this book, this whole book, the whole Iron Base doesn't even cover stuff that's towards the end of the book. The whole Iron Base is almost all about like the first few chapters of this book. Right. And even that, not all, not all the stuff that it talks about. And it's a whole different shita. <laughs> he 
you know, the, uh, by the time the Rebbe Shah would get... Color the color the different sheep there. It's just he's talking about different details. The sheet of the symptom is different. Because he's talking about a different Indian within he's talking the about a different symptom. Right, it's a different Indian within the symptom. There's a mimer from the rabbi, it's either in your or your Zion. It's not that he's disagreeing with the middle no. rabbi. Not, not, no, is that why he tells you. That means that you're disagreeing. He's just bringing out... No, by the way, the shitas, the shitas in, in Kabbalah, the real shitas in Kabbalah don't disagree. They're a mark and the... A result is not really disagreement. They're talking about different things. It's a different view of the same thing. Yeah, but this isn't uh, uh, the, the Rebbe Rashab doesn't need even a different view. It's just uh, he's explaining a different Indian in the in the Sederish And he tells you that. He tells right, you. He tells you it. He tells you this is not what the Middle Rebbe was talking about. But the basic thing is that by the time he'll finish it, these seventy-eight pages. <coughs> It's going to be like, by the time the Rebbe Shah finishes with it, these 78 pages are going to be like 10,000 chapters. Right, at least. You know, because over here, especially like the later chapter, there's like two chapters, basically, that Yehuda Tata. Right. Because most of the Yehuda Tata that he's talking about there is still in Malchus of Atsilus. And then there's one chapter that discusses the whole thing, Bria Yitzir Asiya. And then there's another chapter or two to discuss how it comes through the Galgol and Mazolas. And then the final chapter discusses the Klippus. Right. You know. Right. <coughs> Which uh, would turn into a whole bunch of things. So that's the thing when they're saying that that's the key. How can you say that's the key? It's a super advanced book. Right. Also, this covers everything that doesn't. It's only partial. Right. It's not the whole center of Stauschelis over there. Right. So they're really so. not getting the framework. No, it doesn't give you the framework. It assumes, basically, when you look at it, you see that it basically assumes that you already know the framework. Right. Well, I need to call now. Okay, so. The Nikra is the first thing to say about the Atmos Mamish. No, the Prince of the Prophet says it. She called the Prince of the Atmos Mamish. She called the Prince of the Atmos Mamish. She called the Prince of the Atmos Mamish. Because of this Chofetz Chesed, this is what caused the original Rosh Naposh to roll his Tashalus. That uh, this Holy Tashalus, in terms of the Abister, is considered just one little Prat. Right. It's not like the whole thing that he's into. It's like one little Prat. Right. And in some places, there's a place I saw a marshal that <coughs> it's not just a prat, it's even less than a prat. It's like, for instance, like, you know, right now we're talking and one of us could scratch his neck. Right. You know? Right. <coughs> or uh, fidget his foot. Well, I was talking, you know, like you fidget, right. you fidget your foot, that's a prat. Right. And this prat is coming, you did it. If you didn't fidget your foot, it wouldn't fidget. Right. And yet, it's like almost like you don't even know about it. Right, it's very, it's almost insignificant. It's not just insignificant. Your mamish don't even realize almost that while you're talking, you're all into this talking thing. You don't even realize that you scratch your head a little bit. Right. Like some people have a habit that they do like they they play with their ear or something. Right. And you tell them, oh, how come, you know, you know, you always play with your ear. You say, oh, do I? Do I really? Uh, they're, they're not so, yeah, you do. Right. So you say, wait a minute. I, I didn't even realize that I was doing it. Right. So you say, what do you mean you didn't realize you were doing it? If you didn't know, if, if you didn't do it, it wouldn't get done. 
Right. Your brain had to send uh, the message to, to your hand through the nerves. Otherwise, how would you fidget with your ear? Right. And that's the whole thing that it says on Rosh Hashanah. We have to bring back the Malchus. You have to remind the Abishur that, you know, like it says, the heroes. They have to remind him. Right. You have to remind him that he's there. He's like off into his thing, whatever his, his thing is, you know. <coughs> he's on the phone with his brother learning Shah Yechud. In the meantime, he, this world is like a prot. Right. You know, so this whole thing is just like a prot. I'll can, like by a kind person. He said, why do you do a kind thing? Because he is a kind person. Right. That's why he decided to do a good thing. Leo is more and more he starts with the Kabachut Hulu. But the thing of the, that this whole world is just a prat and an insignificant prat, that applies to the whole world. But it doesn't apply to the study of Chassidus. Just the opposite. That's actually, we're talking about the Etzim over here. And that's really what he was into. Why he doesn't even realize that he's just scratching his ear. Right. And the actual study of Hasidus is the etzim of the whole thing. And that's what reminds him, oh, that's right, that's why I wanted the whole world for. And that's already from the etzim. What does he mean by makor la makor? He's not, he's not actually a makor for the world. The also not actually a makor la makor. But you have to say something. I mean, he's, he, he's a mocker to be the mocker. I mean, finally you have to say that he's the mocker. Right. Like I said in the last chapter, you have to, first of all, you have to talk about, about the Makayra de Kula. That even though he himself is not an actual mocker as far as he himself, but nonetheless, that's where he came from. Right. So you have to say a mocker, but you can't say a mocker, so we're going to say a mocker the mocker. All right. If you don't like to say a mocker, so you have to say a mocker, a mocker, a mocker. And then right. you'll have to say uh, four times and five times. It's, it's, uh, we're going to say just two times, and you understand that it's really not even that. Right, okay. A mocker, a mocker. To give a person a sandwich. That comes from the hidden Chavitz Chesed. Anything that he will have a Rots and to do good it was already included. Everything comes because of the power of the Yuli Chavit Chesed. Like we said in the last chapter, Chabad Amidus Chulu. And this whole chapter, really, you can learn very fast, because it's just exactly the whole, it's exactly the last chapter. Right, it's almost like a repetition of it. Basically, except the last chapter was in the marshal, in a person. Over here in the Nimshal, but it's oh, it is it's exactly the same thing as the Nimshal. Oh, 
עד חינת מידת המלוכה באטמוס אין סעיף, שנקרא מלכוס באין סעיף. And he's talking here about Malchus of Yachid. Kamu kolo b'china diyuli ya'atmi da'atmus arin sa'ib, shu b'china as ain't sa'ib mamish. Ukmo shachopet chesed b'china as ain't sa'ib mamish ba'atmus, ole chachmos ha'ain sa'ib, kach mida sa'it nasus, shukula ba'atmus arin sa'ib, hu b'china as ain't sa'ib. They call him Yud. This is Mamish exactly what it said in the last chapter. The Elama Atmos, who pchinas harotz of a tain of the chokma midas, should midas amlucha. Right. Okay. Ah, however, inyan ana emloch she ala betzayna machshava machshava apshuta pashut. Says here. Okay. מחשבתא, רצוינו מחשבתא הפשוט, אה? רצוינו מחשבתא הפשוט. הפשוט. היינו, שבא בדובר פרט, לבחינת ההשתלשות בגילוי מהלמו היולי כנ"ל. במידה דחופת חסד, this thing of אנא אמלוך means that he had a מחשבה to have it in revelation from the היולי. האדם למטה. כנ"ל במידה של חופץ חסד באדם למטה. כמו שאמרנו בפרק האחרון, שבמידה של חופץ חסד, היה משהו שאומר שזה יהיה משהו אחר. זה אותו דבר עם המלכות. וכנ"ל במשולים Canal the Marshal Yud Kochos. Oh, here it's a, uh, it's a, uh, what do you call it? It's uh, a typo. It says, it's, the Yud is connected to the Marshal. Canal the Marshal Yud Kochos, Akulim, Shebepchinas Yechida, Bepchinas Yuli, Ve'atmi, Zchulu, She'ena Nivdolim, Na'etim Klau. וכמו כוח התנועה שכל בעץ מחי, and by the way, the Anna Emloch is also completely כל, even though it's in the Dover Prat. שאין אני דובר מעצם כלל, כמו כוח התנועה שכל בעץ מחי, כי פעם שזכה את היולי הכל הם בעצם הנפש מהמש כנ"ל, and that's the Indian of Yachid, including the Anna Emloch. Right. ולמטה מזה, now the Indian of Echad, ובחינת אורן סוי והמאייר מתפשט והכל עדיין מבחינת עצמו סוי לפני הצמצום זהו הנקרא אחדות הפשוטה so in other words this is still in the עצמוס אורן סוי it's not really the פשוט אורן סוי it's the פשוט inside of himself meaning that really the he only put it פשוט actually right and this is like If, if you want to give it names, you could, yachol, you could give it the name that this is like Malchus of Malchus, that Echad is like Malchus of Malchus of Yachid. Right. And Kadmon is like Malchus of Malchus of Echad. Right. Which in general, I mean, it says, like when he says, remember he said in, uh, what was it, chapter 7, That the, the cloud is that from the malchus of the lower becomes the castor of the upper all the way to the room of Milos. Right. And here he says, Lamata means the next level down. So it means from the malchus of the upper becomes the castor of the lower. So the next thing is the level of Echad. Which means that it's already over there you can say that, th that at, at one point these powers came out, so to speak, as if to say that they're separating out, but it's not really separating out. And this can be called Achtos Apshuta, Sheitoch and Shem Pchina, his Chalos V'Achtos B'Es Esfiros. The Gam Hem Nikram Es Esfiros Blima, but even there it's still Blima, it's not that it's actually Es Esfiros. 
Right. It's still not really even prepared to be much to to to, to ask for downstairs the revelation. Raksha Mukhan Latsit Ma Yuli Bidova Prat. It's just Mukhan Latsit. Means it didn't come out from the Hiyuli, it's still a Hiyuli. Right. It's just that you have to say that at one point it was ready to come out because it did come out. Meaning, he doesn't even know yet what it is, because Kadmon also didn't really come out. Right. I'll call upon them. There you could say it's unification of powers. But the imam is totally unified, like even in Kadmon. Remember we said that when when he... When somebody else grabs a bottle of vodka, the power of movement t- changes into the power of speech. Right. Because not that it changes from one to the other, it's mamish the same power up there. It, it's Achlis Truta. In Yochid, you really can't even call it Achlis because there's no powers yet. Right. Rak should nick the Achlis of Truta, be a Sadaim, but it's Musa, a portion of the It's totally portion. Small pin is Chalkud. Even before it came into an actual revelation. The canal of Madrega Bay is the Nefesh Adam, like we explained in chapter 10. Vagimel. Kasha Mipkinat Hovitz Hesse, who she all a guard brought me say for Hulu. Vahuchan, the Kola Shir. In other words, it's already completely on exactly how to grab the Bible. Right. And it's about to do it. You know, there's, uh, who was it that told me, somebody told me that, uh, we're making up, uh, or making up mashalim that are not in the book. Right. You know, like with the cat and stuff like that. Right. Or like right now, where does it say a bottle of vodka in the book? But the mashal is straight out of the book. It right. In the book, he, he didn't exactly say You didn't lay an it example. In a bottle of vodka. He didn't all. give you an example, but he told you exactly. He said, just like the Klechat Nuwa is totally mukha on exactly how we'll do the, how we'll make the actual Nuwa. All the way to the end of the Tnuah. Right, that's the marshal. That's the marshal. The marshal is straight out of the book. The same thing like the marshal that I had where the cat is going to jump to the top of the wall. Right. You know, or the cat is going to... As a matter of fact, he calls it Karachat Nuah of a chai. Of a chai, right. It's a Karachat Nuah of a chai, of an animal. Right. Meaning that like 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 the the marshal that he said, what does it say again? Marshal a cat is gonna pounce on a mouse. What does it say that? It says it says it's all it's all total till the end of it. To the end of the cop. He he mentions in various places, Mamish the end of the cop. Right. In other words, what's the, 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 in Echad is just Mukhan to have the Koyches, and Kadman is Mamish, the actual thing is Mukhan all the way to the end. Like right. the Tnuah and the Kachat Tnuah is Mamish, the actual Tnuah is all Mukhan, but it's still not separate from the Kachat Tnuah. It's Mamish, is no, there's, there's no movement yet. And not only that, you see that even in Kadmon it's still after Shruta because when somebody else grabbed the Bible, the Koyachat Noah turned into a Koyachat Dibur, which if somebody else would get the Bible from this guy, then it wouldn't be a Dibur like that either. It's also right. only, it's only, uh, you know, or whatever, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's also only, it's still in Kadmon. Right. And it can change from one to the other. (laughs) 
Even Mugma Canal, the Inyam Adaga Gimel Benefish, like we said in chapter 10. Well, the Myla, and upstairs, the name shall hide the Mashashir Ba'atmos, or in search, Nikra Tahiri La, but even the Shior, Masharoi to be Shalsh of the Poyel, it gallows the Kabahot, at Sovel Masia. Mamish, he was Mishire in Kadmon, which means in the Atmos or in Saif, all the way down to here. Right. And as a matter of fact, really he was Mishire. The main thing he was Mishire is like, in other words, he was Mishire the whole movement. Like in terms of the Kayachat Nuah, he's Mishire the whole movement. But the real thing in the Kayachat Nuah and the whole point of it is grabbing the bottle. Right. Or catching the mouse. That means that even when he's making the shiur, he's not thinking about the movement at all. Right. He's thinking about the mouth. Or about the bottle of vodka. Right. And the shiur is automatically comes up according to that. Right. In other words, he thinks the bottle, and automatically the whole shear comes up in his, in, inside of him. In the Kayachat Nuah. And that's, that's because it was there the whole time. So it just comes automatic. No, that Nuah, that Nuah... Well, the whole, Nua, the meaning all the Nuah is, 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 any kind of Nuah is there. Right, so that's what I'm saying. That just specific, that specific one just comes out. Yeah, but the thing is, what I'm saying is that in order to make the shiur, he didn't really have to make a shiur in the same way that when you see, you see by a koyachat nuah that the cat right. he didn't have does to not have to sit and think, okay, now let me figure out the vector of the jump. Right. Uh, let me think uh, with my algebra class. I got to get my ruler out and measure the distance between me and the cat. So, wait a minute, now i got to fix my eyes, so i got to move my eyes to see where the cat is, I mean, where the mouse is. Right. Or where the bottle is. You know, so, in other words, it's, it's, it's a shear of various kachas. In other words, the kachat nua, you notice that is involved there also the, the kachat Right. So you have to see where the bottle is. You know? And there's a triangulation of your eyes to figure out the depth, you know? Right, a focus. Yeah, because one, you know, the, the two eyes with the bottle make a triangle, so you, you see where the depth is and how far you have to reach your hand. But you notice that when you do this, you don't, you don't think about the shear at all. The shear is secondary. The the actual thing is the same thing by the symptom. The real the real union of the symptom and the shear is to the end of the action. In other words, if you look at the cat's face, you'll see that he's not, you know, he's moving like you know how a cat moves his muscles to get the jump just right. But you see, the whole time his whole focus is on the mouth. Right, just like a pitcher. In baseball, he's not thinking about how he's going to move his hand. Yeah, not only that, I read a if thing. If he wouldn't do that, he would just totally mess up. Yeah, I was he's reading a thing in on uh, where he wants the ball to go. Right, I was reading a thing about about it. This guy who he teaches like uh, it's not exactly meditation methods, but the he, one of the things that he, in order to. Uh, uh, he teaches this to also to basketball players, but he also teaches it to uh, uh, various people. Like when you make decisions in your life and you think things, and you know, when the thing doesn't, when you uh, uh, the, the thing is when you think about thing. it too much of how to do it rather than the goal, you'll miss the you'll miss. You Huh? You'll miss the. Screws you up. You'll miss the basket. Right. In other words, if you think of the shear rather than the mouth, you won't get the mouth. Right. 
you have to forget about the whole thing and just think. And 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 you and the thing is, that's what you know that uh, in the Eastern martial arts and stuff like that, they call it a loss of self. Also, it's not really a loss of self, actually. It's in other words, if you're thinking of how you're going to do it, then you lose the spontaneity of action and the shear doesn't come out right. Hold right. on one second, one second. is he has to focus not on how he's going to throw it, but just on where it has to end up. So here also, since he's talking about the shear from this example, so you understand that the, the real thing that he does is he thinks about the end of it. Right. He doesn't think about the actual shear. Wait a minute, so where are we? Muslim grab a shear of other monks now being a medieval gimel of a net fish. Well, the Maila, I know my shear, but I'm sorry, sir, sneak at your law, but I'm the shear, my shear, it's to be stopped so the pearl of gold to gobble hood cool. I'll tell you, I'll see ya. The zero, my shear, I'm our grief, grief of the hairy law. This is what he said. Gleef, gleef with the hearing lock now. The whole nigger penis Kadman. Now he's calling the gleef, gleef who is Kadman. Right. <coughs> now before he really said the gleef, gleef who is in Yachid. Right. And also he said that it's Yachid that's called the hearing law. Right. But really, including Kadman, and the real union of the gleef, gleef who is Dafka in Kadman. That's the real union of the gleef, gleef who. Gleef Gleef means that he has a total, and this is also, later on, it's called the Ratna Mukhlat. Right. Which the Ratna Mukhlat is part of the Ratna Pashut, it's not part of the Ratna Murkov. In the Ratna Pashut, there's the, the Ratna Pashut and the Ratna Mukhlat, and in the Ratna Murkov, there's the Ratna Klali and the Ratna Prati. Right. So the real union of the Gleef Gleefu is that's what is Kadman. And the real union of the the real real union of Gleef Gleefu is really Malchus of Kadman. The actual right. letters, the letters of the whole thing when he's when he's made the Shior and the whole thing is connected to the thing, the actual final letters of exactly what the definitions of the movement is going to be. Right. Till the end of the line. The Ainu Masha Kodam Oifen Harots and Lashpia, Terem She Mashpia Dain Begili Mamish. The Zeo Adain Livna seems to my Rishon Nikra Mokam Pon of the Holo Kulu. And now the Dial of Maven. And that's the recap of Chapter 10. And then he says, Madrega Hadalis, what Madrega Hadalis? He only told us about three Madregas. Well, now he's adding. He's adding. So he says, wait, but I told you about this fourth Madrega before, that the Ish Chesed is going to give an actual thing in the actual path. Right. He says, I did tell you about it, actually. The Tehiru Tata. The Tehiru Tata. But not just the Tehiru Tata, even after the Tehiru Tata. The Tehiru Tata is just the Mashavak Duma. But the whole, he said that the whole thing of the Ish Chesed is that the chesed is what causes the actual giving of the of the act of chesed, the actual act of chesed. Right. The whole mash achar tzimtzum and al nisha pchinus arshimu. So the the fourth madrega is the actual world after the symptom. and. The thing is, if you'll notice, he calls this the fourth level of the Atmos or Ein Seif. Right. 
He's not calling it another thing. He says this is the fourth level of what? He said there's a first level of the Atzmas Aryan Saif, is Yachid. Then there's a second level of Atzmas Aryan Saif, is Echad. And then the third level is, is, is Kadmon. And then he says there's a fourth level. Right. And what's the fourth level? So the Kav, the Rishimu and the Kav, which, by the way, here he's talking about the beginning of the Kav, which is even, which is the... Kav Amida. The Kav Amida, but that's the beginning of the Kav, including the Makshavak Duma. Right. <coughs> and that's the Hirat Atah, which is the market flower, the holy Ishtashlis of the Kav. And really, it's not just a market flower, it's really the holy Ishtashlis of the Kav till the Asiya. Really, right. really, <laughs> that whole thing to the end is, is Mamish, the fourth level of the Atmos, all the way down to here. Right. In other words, this this is not a, this is mamish a level of atmos, right? Shazel abav pinas prale mat mina atmos k'mashal chayes mitpash begilu ilahach yeskolo v'kikach atnoa shemitpash lania nifal begilu yeskolo shemistani mal shochim mal takshama chanal. So what lamata mina atmos? Huh? He just said that it's part of the Atmos, but he says over here, this Habab Bechinas Hashpa Lamata Mina Atmos. Lamata Mina Atmos before the Timtum. But that's the Madrega Hadalad, is a Makif Kuali Lakola Ishtal Shlustakav, Shazel Habab Bechinas Hashpa Lamata Mina Atmos. Right, but it is, there is no real Lamata Mina Atmos. Lamata Mina Atmos means Lamata Mina Atmos before the Timtum. Right, okay. The Marshall Chayus Amit Polish Amit Pasha Begal Lahachiot, like how it comes into the body. That there is it's considered the life of the body, which is like a separate thing. It's like a separate thing. It's not really a separate right, but thing. But really it's not. Right. The Kachat Noah Shemit Pasha La Nia like for instance, the Noah that actually moves in your arm is not really your soul. It's electric impulses that move your muscles. As a matter of fact, if you run an electric current through your arm, you can move the muscle without th- without wanting to. Right. Arm is electric insult. It's not the soul, really. Right. The actual plant that comes mitzmicha ruchnius, which is just a heel in the ground. There's no real tzmicha in the ground. It's mamish and it's something. It's like a tnua in regard to the, the to, to the actual brown, or like the paula in regards to the actual kacha atnua, or like an idea compared to the actual kacha maskil. Because the kacha maskil is not an idea at all. This, but nonetheless, I all the pratim all the way to the end of Asiya, because otherwise, where did they come from? The Trinas you leave me. So now 
we get back to what we were talking about before, the Pshotas HaGashmius. He says, what's the Gashmius? The Gashmius is a Timtum. Means the Gashmius is less than the actual thing, and it's not the same thing like Ruchmius to Gashmius. It's not the same thing. Because the Ruchmius is, does not actually cause the Gashmius. In other words, Ruchmius to Gashmius is like when we say that in the Chesed of the person, in his soul, that's Ruchmius. This causes him to give the sandwich. But that's not true. It's not really true. It's not like in the Nimshal. In the Marshal, it only causes him to have the Rutsen to give the sandwich. The actual giving of the sandwich is done by the Abishter himself, who moves his body and gives him the money. Because if the Abishter didn't give him the money, he would be the poor person. He didn't, he didn't make himself the rich person. So the, the Ruchnius is, is, a separate, is a separate Indian. The Ruchnius does not cause the Gashmius. Right. And not only that, he doesn't know how to move his arm. He doesn't know how to move his arm, that's right. Or to send the electric impulses to give the sandwich or to even make a sandwich. Right, and he didn't make the sandwich at all. Not only that, even the money he bought the sandwich with, really the Abisha gave him that money. Right. So that he just wanted to give the sandwich. And somebody else also, you know, I'd like to help a lot of people, but I ain't got that kind of money. Even though by me the ruts and professors, it could be just as strong, maybe even stronger than this other guy's ruts and professors. Right. You know? The, uh, so so the real Hafshot is Agashmius, that's what the, the real Hafshot is Agashmius is really, in a way, the opposite of what they think. That in Gashmius and Ruchnius, they're saying, oh, you should forget about Gashmius and think about Ruchnius, but the really the Gashmius doesn't come from the Ruchnius. It's really just that the the actual... The physical act of doing the chesed doesn't really come from the from the real ruchnius of the chesed of the of the guy's soul. Only the rotsen for doing the chesed is there, and according to the rotsen, it says, "But there Shadam writes all leilach malichin." I say. In other words, you only make the decision of the rotsen, then the Abish removes your body for you. Right. And as a matter of fact, that's. That's the whole terrible thing of an Avera and the whole wonderful thing of a mitzvah. That when you decide to do it, then the Abisher has to actually go and help you do this bad thing. Right. That's what it says. Like uh, It's like somebody takes the king's head and puts it in the toilet. It says in Tanya like that. Right. You know. So you're forcing the Abisher to help you out with this thing. And when you decide in the morning to put on fill-in, so you're letting the Abishter have a dear but the He gets he gets to put on fill-in, which is what he wanted to do. Right. You know, but but the but the thing is that really the the physical action did not come from you. And Avshotas Agashmius means that by the Abishur, it's not like that. It's not like by your Gashmius. It's, it's, you, you think that the Marshal is like the Nimshol, but the Marshal is a Gashmi. Right. And the, the, the sandwich did not come from the Chesed. Right. Only the, the desire to do a Chesed and to give a sandwich came from the, from the Chesed. Right. Of the soul, from the spiritual Chesed. But by but if you mafshit the gashmius by the abishter, it's not like that. The actual sandwich came from him, right? So the the whole thing of the gashmius is they have it backwards. The same thing like when when you say there's no chokhmah upstairs. So somebody who has it backwards doesn't understand really. It doesn't mean there's no chokhmah. There's a whole bunch of chokhmah upstairs. 
Tai više super, super, super smart. It's not that there's no chokma, there's a whole bunch of chokma up there. It's just that it's in a way that it's like a totally Yulis, you can't even call it chokma. Right. Okay. Okay, I'm going to just go to the next uh, point here and stop because they're already starting to run around me. Like we explained in chapter 10, and I'm going to have to stop over here. All right. Go ahead. Oh, oh uh, by the way, I followed, I just mailed out the papers. The Zell Pirush Klali, Lemash Amar Borosh Am Vaya, Elon Pirush, the Amar, Behel and Betsaina, Porsche, Malchus, the Enzo, Biesa, Dain, Kol, Bukhovitz, Hesed, Atmi, Anal. Vahagar Vahaya, Begilu, Ormit, Pasha, the Dover Prat, Lish Tashal, Slea, is Makola, Kola, Lomas. Pirush Vahaya, Elam, I know Davka, Min, Masha, Shir, Baasma, Bekaya, Shahu, Shavish, Mash, Mishave, Haka, Haelam, Maklali, Nimshah, Minakab. Means the, the general world, like he said, Ak is Adam, the Bria, you know. Kola the canal the Dal. Ubarahu Nistar, who means Nistar, Haino Pinat Kadmoin Shaloilam. The Haino Mashashir Baatma Vikaya Hulu. Mosh Nemar Magad and Rashis Akris. Mereshis Akava Saifa. Kulu Kulu. Megid Mereshis Akris means from the beginning of the Kav till the end of the Kav. Umikadem Ashalo Nasa Dayan. Hainu mikadmoni shloilam. Keda means even before the tzimtzum, he tells, what wasn't even made yet. Means even before it was made, he already told you, he already knew what it's going to be. The nikra you make kedem. Shekaydem lamash and nimshach v'kav. And in other places, sometimes you'll say you make kedem is a different thing. What did you make kedem? Means the midos, in the in Kadmon, before it even came into the Kav. The who Masha Kadam Ba Asma Bakoyah Masha Adi Lias Bapoyal. The 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 Glyf Glyf on Kadmon. The 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 Shior. So Masha Amar Baruch Aimer Vaisa Pulu I know Mash Nimsha Baka Bapoyal Mamish. He says and he he did it. The Aisa Bereshis who calls here comes Ak, which is Adam de Bria. In other words, this whole business later on, it seems like really this should be on Bria Yitzhir Asiya. But this is talking about that as far as Abish is concerned, the Atilus is the end of Asiya. So what he said... What it says, he's saying, as far as from the Abishur, it says, Oise Bereshis, really, by us, Maise Bereshis, uh, Atilus is Maise Merkova. Maise Bereshis is how Biyah comes out of Malchus Atilus. But as far as the Abishur, Asiya is already in Ak. The Gezer Mekai and Betchila, who Pchina at Kavamida, that's Gezer, you know. Shalif Neak, who Pchina Tzimtzum Der Shimu Nimshach Mimeno Akav Kedok Moshid Bar Bezer Samishat Besamuch. And this whole blur basically was to, to connect chapters 10 and 11 to the Kavonis and Davini. Okay. Shalom.
Sean, let's flip the tape if we're going to start another chapter. Yeah. <laughs>